I'm Tracy Bankster with today's Record News Watch. Gasoline prices have never been higher at this time of the year. And the rising pump prices are a growing source of frustration among local residents. It's a little ridiculous around this area because you see one, one gas station will, it will raise their price and then another gas station right next door will raise their price. And it's just back and forth. Berg works at Super G Mart in Wurtsboro. And uh, like all other supermarkets and businesses here in the Hudson Valley, the jump in the price of gas makes it tougher to maintain a profit when the cost of transporting products goes up leading to fuel surcharges. It's going to be a major factor in the food industry because it's affected at all levels uh, regarding us getting our deliveries and that, that we'll have a surcharge most likely and also to the consumers they are going to have to cut back on their spending because they'll be paying more for gas to get to work and to their school functions etc. So it will have an impact. It's going to be harder. We're, we're trying to be very competitive in our marketing strategies here now because we know that it's going to be a very tough go ahead for the consumers in the near future. Officials with AAA say a big reason for the recent price surge revolves around world tensions with Iran and threats of a future interruption in oil supply that has boosted the price of crude. For people like Adam, higher prices at the pump will mean a cost-saving change of routine. Do you think it'll ultimately mean you and others will cut back on certain things? And if so, what, what do you think you would be uh, starting to cut back on? Uh, I think it'd mean I'd be cutting back on travel. I probably won't be uh, going out and doing as much as I normally would do. Kind of con consolidate the trips? Yeah, I, I don't think I'll be doing as many long distance trips. If, and if I do, I'll probably be doing everything all at once. Energy analysts say we should expect to see gas prices reach about $4.25 a gallon by late April, and that is certain to cut into consumer spending and the economic recovery. A comprehensive look at the local impact of the rising gas prices will be featured in tomorrow's Times-Herald record. Elsewhere, a fire late this morning badly damaged the maintenance shed at uh, Middletown's Sprout Street Community Swimming Pool. As firemen from uh, the city and surrounding companies converged on the scene to extinguish the flames, police diverted traffic around the Sprout Street Wisner Avenue intersection. Of added concern to firefighters was the pool chlorine stored in that building, prompting the arrival of a local hazmat team to monitor the situation while the fire was being put out. There were no reports of any injuries. Crime statistics have identified the city of Newburgh as one of the places in the state most impacted by gun violence. Governor Andrew Cuomo says that's why Newburgh will be one of six state locations that will share a million dollars in funding to try to combat the ongoing problem. College professors who've been studying the issue will work with Newburgh to lay out a community-based strategy. Uh, the grant announcement uh, comes in the wake of a series of city sweeps targeting gangs, drugs, and related violence. In 2009, Newburgh ranked as the most violent city per capita in the state. A Kingston man is in trouble with the law for cashing more than $1,000 worth of checks from his dead mother's insurance account. 37-year-old Matthew Vladich was arrested Sunday following an investigation into the check cashing at a local convenience store. Besides facing four felony charges, including forgery, Vladich was also charged with violating his probation from a prior conviction. You could call it a preview of coming attractions. St. Patrick's Day may uh, still be weeks away, but uh, Kelly Jean's restaurant in Goshen had a decidedly Irish look and feel on Sunday during a fundraiser to uh, benefit the upcoming St. Patrick's Day parade festivities in Goshen. Those on hand were treated to entertainment that included performances by a group of uh, local Irish step dancers and pipes and drummers with the Orange County Ancient Order of Hibernians. The upcoming uh, Goshen Parade is Sunday, March 11th. And visitors to Washington's headquarters in the city of Newburgh had a real blast this President's Day weekend. Oh. With the state historic site uh, playing host to a variety of activities for young and old. To celebrate the birthday of General George Washington, the father of our country, at a place along the Hudson that proved to be a vital location for members of the Colonial Army and its push for victory in the Revolutionary War. That's according to none other than General Washington himself. Well, I've been waiting uh, 
seven years to uh, dislodge the British from New York City. So this is an ideal location to keep an eye on them and make sure they do not make any forays into the countryside. They must be, the pressure must be maintained on them to, to leave and not be able to uh, trouble the uh, citizens in the surrounding areas. So from this position we can keep a close eye on New York City. Should the local citizenry be uh, optimistic about uh, their future? They should be. After uh, the tyranny that was faced under the yoke of, of Britain uh, was soon passed and we shall have the, the liberty that we long have desired and will soon cherish will be upon us. General Washington reenactor John Koopman uh, was on hand to mingle with visitors and speak to them about the headquarters and its important role in helping us secure our independence. It'll feel even milder out there over the next couple of days. Tuesday will be partly cloudy with the temperatures in the mid to upper 40s. A mix of sun and clouds in the forecast for Wednesday with the highs reaching the low 50s. Stay connected to Record Online throughout the day to keep abreast of breaking news and get the detailed news and feature coverage you've come to expect in tomorrow's Times Herald Record. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.